China's naval aviation is entering a new era, and at the center of this transformation is the J-15 T-Fighter jet, operating alongside the country's most advanced aircraft carrier the Fujian. China's carrier-based fighter jet is entering a new era. Meet the J-15T the latest upgraded variant of China's J-15 Flying Shark and a major step forward for the People's Liberation Army Navy. The J-15T is an upgraded variant of China's carrier-based fighter, designed specifically to work with the Fujian's electromagnetic catapult launch system, also known as EMULS. This technology allows aircraft to take off more efficiently, with heavier payloads and improved performance compared to older ski jump carriers. The combination of the J-15T and the Fujian aircraft carrier signals China's growing confidence and ambition in blue water naval operations. But what exactly has changed? Is it truly stronger, smarter, and deadlier than before? Let's break it down. The original J-15 was designed for ski jump aircraft carriers, limiting its takeoff weight and combat range. The J-15T, however, is built for catapult-assisted takeoff, allowing it to launch with heavier fuel loads and more advanced weapons. This single change dramatically boosts its operational range, payload capacity, and mission flexibility especially from China's newest aircraft carriers. Structurally, the J-15T features a reinforced landing gear and airframe, designed to withstand the intense stress of catapult launches and arrested landings. This means higher sortie rates and improved durability during sustained naval operations. Under the hood, the upgrade goes even further. The J-15T is believed to feature improved avionics, including a modernized radar system, enhanced electronic warfare capabilities, and better data link integration. These upgrades allow the aircraft to detect targets earlier, share battlefield data in real-time, and operate as part of a networked combat system. In modern warfare, information is power and the J-15T is built to fight smarter, not just harder. Weapon-wise, the J-15T is expected to carry new-generation air-to-air and air-to-surface missiles, giving it greater reach and precision. This expands its role beyond air superiority, enabling it to conduct strike missions, maritime patrols, and fleet defense more effectively. So, is it deadlier? With greater payload capacity, improved sensors, and enhanced survivability, the answer is clear, yes but with a focus on efficiency and coordination rather than raw aggression. The J-15T represents China's push toward a more capable, modern carrier air wing, closing the gap with established naval aviation powers. As China continues to expand its carrier fleet, aircraft like the J-15T will play a crucial role in shaping the balance of power at sea. Stronger, smarter and undeniably more capable. The J-15T is an upgraded variant of China's carrier-based fighter, designed specifically to work with the Fujian's electromagnetic catapult launch system, also known as EMULS. This technology allows aircraft to take off more efficiently, with heavier payloads and improved performance compared to older ski jump carriers. The Fujian is the People's Republic of China's third aircraft carrier and the first to be entirely indigenously designed and built for the People's Liberation Army Navy. Officially designated Type 003 in hull number 18, she represents a significant technological leap in China's naval aviation capabilities, marking China's entry into the small club of navies operating carriers with electromagnetic aircraft launch systems. The Fujian aircraft carrier represents a major leap forward for the People's Liberation Army Navy. Unlike China's earlier carriers, the Fujian features a flat-deck design with catapult launch systems, placing it closer to the capabilities of the world's most advanced naval forces. The Fujian marks a major step in PLA Navy modernization, introducing true catobar operations to China's fleet and enabling a more diverse and capable air wing that can project power at greater range and with heavier payloads. After commissioning, she has begun live force training exercises with carrier strike group escorts and conducted electromagnetic launch and arresting landing training for multiple aircraft types. Chinese defense officials state the carrier will make regular appearances on the high seas and continue post-commissioning testing and integration. Paired with the Fujian, the J-15T gains several advantages.
The aircraft can carry more fuel and weapons at takeoff, extend its operational range, and support more complex missions. These improvements significantly enhance China's carrier strike capabilities. Visually, the J-15T retains the powerful presence of its predecessors, but internally it benefits from modernized avionics, strengthened landing gear, and systems optimized for high-intensity carrier operations. Together, the fighter and the carrier form a more flexible and capable naval aviation platform. As sea trials continue and operational deployment approaches, the combination of the J-15T and the Fujian aircraft carrier signals China's growing confidence and ambition in blue water naval operations. This development is not just about new hardware it reflects a broader shift toward a more modern, technologically advanced naval force, capable of operating far from home waters. What do you think about the J-15T upgrade? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more defense and aviation content.